I'm sorry to cut you off, by the way. I'm sorry. Um, what is your favorite port? Greece. And um, why? Why okay. is Greece your favorite port? So, first of all, mm -hmm. everybody, like, so we went to two different ports in Greece. Because mm -hmm. um, we went to Greece three different times. So we went to Sudebay twice, and we went to Athens once. So which one is your favorite, Sudebay or Athens? Um, I think I'm biased because like the first time in Sudebay was like, dude, everybody was lit. Like, but you gotta think about it though. It is another thing I like being about a navy. Once y'all be out to sea for a minute and y'all hit their first port, everybody is live. Like everybody is live. So. What's up, Whitey? <laughs> this is so bad. Bro. What? What's up, Whitey? Hi. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I lied to y'all and said I was gonna post every day until I post the bad news. Cause I skipped like two days in a row and then like a couple days ago I missed another day, so I'm just gonna post. But how y'all been, man? I got a special guest with me. Talk to him, Whitey. Could you pass me a please, sir? Video arms. Thank you. It's the least you can do. Talk to him, Whitey. Hey, so I just got back from deployment, so hanging out with my boys. Yeah, and then we have the cameraman behind uh, the camera. <laughs> you want to walk this way and show your face? If not, this time, yeah, I really don't care. <laughs> um, yeah. Right. Oh, no. Hey, yeah, yeah, do not look like that. I'm not done. Pass my uh, cup. Y'all ain't gonna be talking about Pamela right now. Y'all gonna be talking about my drink. So, what I'm drinking is Peach Crown and Lemonade. Judge your mama, I really don't care. You really feel like this? This look good. This is a really light tea. This whole point. Peach tea, lemonade. Yeah, it looks like peach tea. You know what I mean? I mean, you not seeing the music? It is. Maybe it's my diploma brain, but that. That could be what it is. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna make two videos into one. So, this is gonna be the first video. We're gonna talk about those deployments, like, and then we're gonna get into the, the Are You Smarter Than the Fifth Grader question. You cool with that? Okay, White. Uh, so, how does it feel to be back on land, you know? It feels so nice. Really? Yeah, because, like, there's, there's not very many spots we can go on the boat. I mean, I know I was on a carrier and everything, but the carrier's so damn big that, like, you get lost. Mm -hmm. Um, if you don't know where you're going. So oh, you, that's a better question. Have you got lost when you first came on the ship? I got fucking lost. For real? The day I checked in, I went to the Walmart to go buy bed sheets and blankets, put on the rack, and I could not find my fucking version. <laughs> so how long did you get your version? Um, so I actually had to ask the, the quarterback watch. Like, to help me out. So embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being that standard walking up to the corner deck. Hey, excuse me, I don't know what my version is. It's literally so easy because you just go down, like, to the first layer bay or whatever. There's a hatch, like, next to these racks and whatnot. And you just go up the ladder well to, to the second deck. Oh, two. Um, Wait, so y'all birthing above the, uh, what, the, 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 the flight, not the flight date, but the O2 oh, below. So, no, it's the O2, so, like, it's above the hangar bay. That's why I'm asking, so it's above the hangar bay. Yeah. That's crazy, because, like, on a small boy, all, all, like, basically everything is below. Yeah, so, I mean, but the hangar bay, it only takes up, like, half the ship. So like you got the whole mm -hmm. other side, but like, so you just go up the ladder well two floors and then like, there's no other like ladder wells. Like you can only go a couple places. Mm -hmm. It's to the gym. They got like where the first lieutenant uh, stays and then you go around the corner mm -hmm. and there's fucking admin birthing, um, medical birthing, semen, uh, Jesus Christ, um, security birthing mm -hmm. and then us. So, 
You mentioned something about gyms. Excuse me, sir. Did you owe oh, me some ice since you're not doing anything else? I yeah. Um, you mentioned something about birthing. I mean, not birthing. You mentioned something about the gym cards. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. We are like eight. So how? What? Oh, look. <laughs> Make all the noise you need. Uh, we just gonna follow my feet. He's, he's gonna do that so, um, you mentioned you said eight gyms. Like eight gyms, yeah. We got like one for no way. Way. We got one in the hangar bay and hangar bay two. They got like uh, they got they got like pull bars and mats out on the on the thing that you can do shit with. They got like um like a cargo container with all the fucking gym equipment in it. And you got weights. Uh, like Does it be like a lot of people in the gym though? Uh, not for real, for real. I mean, yeah, it, it just depends on what the time Because, mm -hmm. okay. so depending on the department. So like air department, um, reactor department, like all the departments that are the massive ones, they have like set time schedules. So like, for Oh, they're dope though. They're dope. I mean, I suppose. So like, Air Department is the one that I'm familiar with most because up on the O3 level, mm -hmm. like that's where all of like everybody is because you know when they gotta get a the flight deck, it's literally they just go out to the catwalk and go up. Hold on one second, could you flip that over? Because if you're not recording, I'm gonna be pissed. Let's record. It's not. It says record at the top, stupid. I know my own. Hey, what's a catwalk? Because I don't know what the catwalk is. I never heard of that before. So the catwalk is like on the uh, outside of the ship, and it's basically just a like walkway, but with like you're over the water, and like you're just walking on the outside of the ship on the other side. Okay, so let's, let's, let's kind of dive a little deeper. Okay. Give me one thing. Kind of deep with it. <laughs> Give me one thing you like about deployment and one thing you dislike about deployment. One thing I really liked about deployment mm -hmm. was, first of all, all the views, like the sunsets, like mm, okay. um, being able to see the other ships. Because we did a lot of like photo exes when we were out. Um, so we saw like a French carrier, the Charles de Gaulle. We saw um, we had an Italian carrier. Or something oh, that's like that. dope. We had. Can you see like the difference in like y'all ship and then their ship? Oh, dude, they look like BDGs next to us. They are so small. For real? It was crazy because like, so you can like I have pictures of some of the photo exes and stuff, mm -hmm. um, but like they look so tiny compared to us. They're, I'm like, that's what they call them here. Like, not, I'm not dissing on other people. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's just that small. They, it's right, right, right. I get what you're saying. And it was just, it's crazy to see the size comparison. That's crazy. Um, so like, the views? Okay. The views, like, we had two different nights where they turned off all the lights on the flight deck so that way you could see the stars. Oh, I'm gonna dope. tell you what, that was some of the coolest fucking shit. That's dope. I have pictures of like clear pictures of the fucking Big Dipper in the stars on my fucking phone. You know how cool that shit is? I'm be honest, white. I'm 26 years old. I don't know who the Big Dipper is. <laughs> <laughs> I just told you we we'll play this all. Oh, he's one of the two graders. He's gonna be competition. <laughs> Why? I'm just gonna keep it beat. So, I mean, and then being able to watch the fucking aircraft launch, that shit So, is okay, when you do that, are, like, where do you be at when they have it? Like, does it be times when you're, like, at the top, like, the old, like, six or seven, or whatever you get? So, uh, top where I work was mm. fucking 08. Mm. And then you got lookouts, 09. That is a wall. That is an exercise. Yeah. Uh, and I was up there for all... Seven and a half months. There's only a month where I work down in combat. But, um. Okay, this is a stupid question, but like, you don't have elevators on there, do you? You have to walk okay, up wait. the whole A level? Well, yeah, I mean, but we, okay. I take that back. We do have like aircraft elevators. We I mean, personal ones, like for people. Can you imagine the fucking maintenance on that? Like, I mean, you have to do maintenance on an elevator that's 
like picks up like what a hundred hundred fifty ton aircraft. Yes, but like it can't be harder than that. You don't understand the disrespect that people have for this fucking song. What time? How much time we got left on this? You had nine minutes right now. Okay, I'm trying to make it to like 20, 25, 25. Yeah. So I gotta get as much information as I can. So the thing I dislike yeah. about deployment. Uh, it sounds like it's lit. <laughs> the fact it sounds like it's a list of things. Like where do you want me to start? <laughs> I'll just say it. Go ahead. So it's it's. It's a big boat, but once you like get in there, it feels so small. And then everybody knows your business. Just because I mean, but around, like, that is true, but I just find it so like amazing to me that you're on a ship with we just gonna give her a number, like four thousand people. You mean to tell me it's four thousand people on this ship, everybody know everybody business like that? Nah, it's so the people that like it's basically like departments. Oh, it's somebody in air department did this. Or it's somebody in operations department did this. So and then they find out. Operation knows this shit. I'm gonna tell you. I mean, but. I'm gonna tell you. Operation knows this shit. I feel like all operations know this because they have to know this stuff, though. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about knowing the, the shit that's going on. I'm talking about, like, within everybody else's personal business. <laughs> like, yeah, we're supposed so, to. With the ship that I'm on, right, that's definitely true because we have to like type up this thing with like the sit rep, like anytime so go on, so go. Does yeah. the operation department have the sit rep on y'all ship? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. We have um, we have one person from operations that takes sit reps from every department, um, and then she like compiles it and everything. But she's technically <laughs> it's so stupid, bro. Um, I mean, we don't we don't have to type them out like that. Every department types them out themselves. So on a small boy, operations have to type it type up the sit rep in their route. Yeah, I've heard. So at that point, we know everything. Everything. So you do anything and you get in trouble, we definitely gonna find out. We like, we definitely gonna probably be like one of the first ones to know. Okay, but like, so because we're OSs, we know like pro words and shit. Uh -huh. So I mean. When they go over the one MC and everything, um, like if they use pro words, we know what that means. We know what like um, MCon, uh, PetCon, like all that shit. We know what that is. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that I talked to that weren't like operations. They didn't really know. Not unless I like explained it to them. Some people knew what like PetCon was because that's the one for cell phones. Like we call it. We call it something different on the small one. We call it MCon. It's like a certain MCon that we call it. Well, MCon is so that's different. You ready? I know. Probably sure it's like twelve and a half right now. I know we have plenty of time. I mean, we don't. Really. All right, next question. Um, I'm sorry to cut you off. Um, what is your favorite sport? Greece. And um, why? Why is Greece your favorite port? So, first of all, everybody, like, so we went to two different ports in Greece. Because mm -hmm. um, we went to Greece three different times. So we went to Sudebay twice, and we went to Athens once. So, which one is your favorite Sudebay at Athens? Um, I think I'm biased because, like, the first time in Sudebay was like, dude, everybody was lit. Like, but you gotta think about it though, and that's another thing I like being about the Navy. Once y'all be out to sea for a minute and y'all hit their first port, everybody is alive. Like, everybody is alive. So, like, saw my first class and getting down with it, and then afterwards, you know, when we pull back out, I'm like, I don't think I can listen to you the same way anymore. It was really funny. And then we went to Athens, Greece. That was cool. I went on a um, like a trip where I saw like multiple different islands in Greece. Mm. They took so what is like a tour or something like that? Yeah. Mm. How much I was like, I think it was like hundred bucks. It's not bad though. It's not bad at all. It was a whole day trip, and I, I got made fun of because it was like a you know tour on a boat. You know? Right. They were like, you trading this boat for another one? I'm like, motherfucker, I don't have to work on that one. Like, that point. 
I so, got sweat and everything. Oh, uh, when you was on that tour, did you see anything about Santorini Greece or something like that? It's something Greece. Oh no, it's a uh, it's a place I want to go to in Mykonos. What about Mykonos? So we had to go. Oh, I don't know if it's in the same area because I'm not good with geography and stuff. So. So the Suda Bay is a large on a large island mm -hmm. south of like all the uh, so the big part of Greece, mm -hmm. and then it's like the big island at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I'm tracking, I'm tracking. Um, and I don't know. I feel like Mykonos is somewhere in the. I could be wrong, y'all. Don't butcher me, but yeah. Um, and then Athens was all the way up at the top, like connected to the the rest of Europe. Mm -hmm. Um, but we had to we had to anchor out in pretty much every port except for let's see we we didn't have to anchor for Suda Bay and we didn't have to anchor for it was Italy we went to Naples Italy I think we didn't have to was it either Italy or France okay when we went to Halifax Canada um, the four um, they had to like anchor out. Cause it was like super small, so that's why I had, I had to like anchor right in the middle. I'll tell you what that shit is. Yeah. It is for you have to have an anchor watch, and that's always Baby, I'll be ready to quit. <laughs> How many sections are here? Like, uh, what sections when y'all like import and y'all got new sections? I mean, we had four. I don't even feel bad because on the small boat they got three. Because so now now they're in six sections. In, and they in be like in port at home they're in like six sections. We should be in eight, but like they're relying on the TAD sections. So like they look like us. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Me interview that is crazy. I'm sorry. Y'all. It's okay. You too, how y'all do? Y'all like this interview so far? Yeah. I'm trying to get y'all some insight. I got some bad news coming up. I'm not gonna count. So I took them up. It's gonna be this video. I got a truth and drink. Why are you saying truth drink? I got this video. I got the, um, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader video, and then I think I'm giving my bad news video. I'm giving my bad news video Sunday, and I'm going to tell y'all, like, what's like so much of the bad news. I will say to my subscribers, thank y'all, because I've been watching. Like, I appreciate that. We're here, you know? Um, what else I'm missing? Um, I have gained like some subscribers in a week's time, which is crazy to me. Like it blows. Like the video that I posted in a week and the number of subscribers that I got in a week is blowing me. And this is my advice to y'all: anything that y'all want to do, do it. Like I don't care if you want to be a photographer. I don't care if you want to be a YouTuber. I don't care if you want to be a TikTok influencer. Or uh, Instagram influencer, do what you gotta do. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. I don't care if you wanna start a business, anything. Do what you wanna do. And don't let nobody tell you otherwise. This is my inspiration to you. You know? Um, and have fun doing it. Anybody that disagrees with you, how you feel, or something you wanna do, and somebody laugh at you or disagree with what you wanna do, they're not meant to be around you.